Hey everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a video doing an unboxing, review, and initial installation of the Two Stones wooden hangboard. This is a climbing hangboard that you can currently get on Amazon for about $70. I recently purchased this because the gym I go to doesn't have good equipment as far as doing pull-ups and overhead exercises. And so I looked into a variety of options as far as installing a pull-up bar in my apartment. And I actually came across climbing hangboards and thought this would be the best option as far as doing pull-ups, overhead exercises, and improving my overall grip strength. And so what we'll do in this video is we'll unbox the hangboard, I'll walk through the different grips it has, the different sizes, and the overall dimensions. Then we'll walk through step-by-step -step how to install this on your wall using a backboard as you see in front of you. As always, if you're interested in potentially purchasing this, there will be links in the description below for where you can find it on Amazon. Okay, so this is the Two Stones wooden hangboard. I got this from Amazon for about $70. Just in preparation for this review, for those of you that are rock climbers, I personally am not a rock climber. I've never climbed indoors or outdoors, so I can't speak to all the grips and the utility of them for this hangboard as compared to others, but my main purpose is for using this for overall like pull-ups, overhead exercises, and improving my grip strength. Um, as far as the packaging, it's a box that's about two foot by eight inches uh, size. Um, kind of discusses that you can use it for training your fingers and arms, rock climbing simulation on a wall, and that improves overall grip strength and endurance. On the side here, sorry, um, they list that it's natural wood. It's a complete block, strong, durable, polished surface, and skin friendly. And then on the back here, it lists some general instruct information but you can't really read it because of all the stickers it says that it's made from natural wood that's skin friendly um, it's um, CNC milled from a solid block of wood so it's much less likely to break and that it offers a wide variety of grips for climbing you can look into this further but we'll get this open um, so Within the actual box, um, it's pretty simple. Um, so you'll have two instruction inserts here. These are actually on the Amazon listing, so you can look at these in detail as far as the different grips. But it shows the actual hang boards and numbers all the slots um, from one to, I think, 15. And up in the right corner here, it actually says whether it's like one, two, or th one, two, three, or four fingers as far as the size, and lists the actual dimensions as far as millimeters for the length, width, and depth for each of the um, grips. So for those of you that are rock climbers, you can look at this, compare this to other hangboards and figure out whether this suits your needs, but it lists it specifically. And then they actually have a really good video online to show you examples of each. Below that, it shows that it does have inserts that you can actually put into these hand grips for uh, reducing the depth when you need it later on. And then below that, it shows a picture of each of the, like several of the varieties of hand grips and kind of the examples of that. Um, beyond that, it's got, it should have um, attachment uh, attachment uh, screws for inserting this directly into the base backboard that we'll be using, um, and so that'll be included as well. Um, additionally, they have an instruction manual for kind of how to use it as a rock climber. I'm not going to go over in this in detail, but they do list this on their website as well. And for those of you using hangboards, just refer to that and understand that a little bit further before using this, obviously. Um, but we'll take out the hangboard and take a look at it. So it has some like packaging around it. Um, and then this is what it actually looks like. And so there's uh, one bag that includes all the, uh, the screws as well as wall inserts if you need those. And then here are the inserts as far as what you put in the actual slots when you um, to reduce the depth later on. Um, as far as construction of these, just because I want to make sure that I'm comprehensive, it's like a rubber material, it's soft rubber, um, kind of like silicone rubberish type of thing. Um, so hopefully that's useful for you that kind of needed that information. Uh, as far as the board itself, this is what it actually looks like. Um, so Two Stunts has a wide variety of boards. This is one that's offered for $70. Um, the only different, they have another one that's $70. The only difference when I looked at these side by side was actually they do have pinch grips on the side here um, for the one finger grip. So I ended up picking this up just because it offers this pinch grip, but the other one's more of like a round, rounded or oval shape um, and has basically all the same grips from what I could tell. 
Um, as far as here, it's, it has the two stones label. It's a solid piece of wood, very well constructed. It's sturdy, it's heavy. It's not, it doesn't feel flimsy at all. You can tell that it is CNC cre created um, and it's from a solid piece of wood. So it's very low likelihood that it's actually gonna break or fall apart. And here's the actual grips that you see. So over here, you have a grip that you can grip overhand. If I'm ever strong enough, I'll probably use this for pull-ups. Um, you can use the edge here for a grip. You can use the middle part for a grip. And then as you see, there's different size grips as far as forefinger. That's a little bit narrow or less narrow or little depth here. Um, there's a three finger here in the middle, three finger here. There's a four finger that mat matches over here on this end. Below that, there's four fingers, which is deeper, okay? There's two fingers here, three, four in the middle, three again, two, four, okay? And then on the bottom edge here, there's ones that are four inch, or four finger, two finger, three finger, three finger, two finger, and four finger, and then there's pinch grips on the side. And so that's what it looks like. I really can't allude to like the touch feel of this board compared to others because I've never used it before and I've never used others. Um, I will say that the edges are a little bit rounded, um, so I don't know whether I'll slip with use of this, um, but that's the overall look, design, construction as far as that. And then what you can tell here in the middle here is there are areas where the screw inserts that are one, two, three, four, five, six different screws that we're gonna actually use to screw this into the, our actual backboard. And so this is, and then the back is, this is like a flat piece here, so you can see what that looks like. Um, so hopefully this is a good picture. If you have questions, comments regarding the actual board itself, you can look at it, but they do have comprehensive videos on their website as far as the grips, the dimensions, that sort of thing as well. But now we'll walk through installing this on the actual wall. Okay, so before we start with installation, I wanted to walk through everything you'll need as far as installing this on your actual wall. So first off, you'll need the actual hangboard. Next, you'll need a piece of wood that'll serve as a backboard. If you look online, people generally recommend either um, plywood or a solid piece of wood that's three quarters to an inch thick. Um, I ended up going with a solid piece of pine that's one inch thick and then 11 and a quarter um, inches wide. The reason why I went with this is because um, with the width, I don't actually have to cut it lengthwise at all. And so really just based on the length, overall length of the measurements, I'll just cut this down long side and that, that'll limit the amount of work I'll need to do. The reason why you need a backboard is if you tried to drill the hang or screw the hangboard directly into the wall, because of the locations on, of the screws on the hangboard, it's gonna drill directly into your drywall rather than the wall studs. And because this is low bearing and it's going to need to support your entire weight. If you did it this way, it's just going to fall out or damage or crack your wall. So rather than drilling the hangboard directly into your wall, what you're actually going to do is drill the hangboard into the backboard and then in turn using a stud finder, you're gonna measure out where the studs are on your wall and you're gonna drill the, the backboard directly into the wall studs. And so by doing that, it's gonna distribute the weight more evenly. Additionally, the screws you'll use will have uh, lower likelihood of pulling out because they're drilling directly into the wood rather than the actual drywall. So we'll walk through this step by step. Um, hopefully it'll be simple once I explain it further, but that's what you'll need. So you'll need the hangboard, you'll need a backboard, which can either be solid wood or a piece of plywood. Next, you'll need some sort of stud finder. I went with a Craftsman one. I got this on Amazon for about like 10 to $12. I'll leave a link below if you want to purchase this one. You'll need a pen as far as making measurements. Um, then you'll need an actual um, measuring tape to measure out the wood and where to cut it. And then lastly, you'll need, um, you'll need screws that'll screw directly into the wall studs. I picked up these from Lowe's. They're the Power Pro One um, multi-material screws. They're the number 10 size with three inch length. Um, generally, they recommend three inches to four inches for drilling the backboard into the wall. And so these should serve the purpose for everything we need as far as um, installation today. And then lastly, um, as far as equipment or um, what you'll need to actually install this, you'll need a drill as well and drill bit 
gets to drill pilot holes in the actual backboard. But that's everything you'll need as far as installation. Okay, so as far as location for where I'm gonna be installing this in my apartment, it's actually gonna be in my kitchen above this doorway right here. Uh, the reason why I ended up picking this location is it has enough width for the actual hangboard. Additionally, this is about nine foot ceiling, so I have enough height to use it without either hitting the ceiling above or hitting anything below the door frame. And so this is the location I'll pick, but you'll really have to tailor it to where the location is best for your actual apartment. All right, so this is gonna be kind of hard to see on the actual camera based on the angle and how high we're up. Um, but for the first step, what you're gonna need to do is use the stud finder and locate all the studs in the wall and mark these out. And so I've previously done this, but basically you're just gonna run this across the wall, find the studs and then mark the middle of the stud. So I have one stud here. And then if you look, I have another stud right here and I mark that out. Next, I have another stud here, okay? And then there's gonna be one more that I, you might not be able to see. So I have four separate locations in the actual wall for where I can drill the studs. Um, and then next up, what I ended up doing was I actually measured these out on my actual measuring tape um, for the location of where these studs are located. And so by doing that, I have on the measuring tape exactly where the studs are located. And then I'm gonna use that to figure out where I need to drill in my actual backboard. All right, so here's the back of the backboard. Um, you might not be able to see everything, but basically the measurements as far as the overall door frame um, and dimensions of the length that I'm gonna be using is about 42 inches and, and a half. And that gives me the largest diameter to cover all the actual studs. And so you'll measure out an overall length, then you're gonna actually cut the board to that size. And then next up what I did was based on the measurements for where the studs are located, which I measured on my actual measuring tape, I marked off each of these lines as the location of the studs. So there's one here, one here, there's gonna be one over, he over here, okay? And then one here. So I have four different locations for the studs. I marked these um, as far as a vertical line. And then what I did was based on the dimensions of the actual board, which is 11 and a quarter um, inch, I actually measured one and a half inches from the top, one and a half inches from the bottom, and the actual middle of the board. And so for each of these studs, what I'm gonna actually do is um, drill three separate drills in or screws into the stud. So one, two, three, and then we're gonna do that for each of the actual um, studs. So I'm gonna have a total of 12 screws that are gonna go into the studs, which will provide more than enough support and strength as far as keeping the backboard on the actual wall. So that's what you'll do as far as next steps. So basically mark out where the studs are located and mark out your screw locations. And then from there, what we'll do is we'll drill pilot holes and then drill this directly onto the wall. Okay, so next up you'll need a drill and then you'll need the actual five and 32 inch bit. And then for each of the studs where you marked where you're gonna put the screws, you're gonna do a pilot hole for each. So I'll just do this one just as an example, but you'll do this for all the locations for where you'll put the screws. Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like for each of the studs. I'm gonna have three separate pilot holes where my screws are actually gonna go. And then I'm gonna do that for all the stud locations that I need. All right, so now that you have all the pilot holes drilled, next you're gonna figure out where you wanna put the hangboard on the actual backboard. For me, what I ended up doing was I measured the width of my doorway and figured out the exact middle of the doorway because that's gonna be the working space for where I can work out or hang from. And so as far as that, the width of the doorway is 41 inches and I have about a half an inch on the backboard in addition to that. So the middle for me is about 21 inches is which, which I've marked out over here. And then as far as the height or the middle of the board is gonna be about five and three quarters of an inch because this is an 11 and a quarter inch width board. And so that's the middle. I marked it on the back, but what we're gonna do now is actually mark it on the front side of the board 
um, because this is the side we're gonna actually mount the hangboard. And so if you look here, it's gonna be 21 inches from the middle, which is right here. And then we're gonna do do five and three quarters, which is right here, right in the middle here. And so that gives me an idea of where the actual hangboard's gonna go on the backboard. All right, so before you install the actual backboard to the wall, um, you're gonna have to plan on where you're gonna put the hangboard on the backboard. And so as we discussed before, I marked the middle of the backboard, which is 21 inches, and then I measured out the dimensions of the actual hangboard. Um, so if you look with the, uh, the ruler, uh, the overall dimensions is 21 and a half as far as the width. And so if you try to mark the middle of um, kind of where you should line this up on where you mark your middle of your backboard, it's gonna be 10 and three quarters inches on the side so I marked one over here uh, which is ten and three quarters from the middle as well as ten and three quarters on the side here and so that gives you an overall sizing of where this will be centrally located on the actual board and then you have to figure out the actual height or where you're gonna align this from the from the bottom of the board um, I'm gonna just keep it very simple and I'm gonna actually put keep it so that it's three inches from the bottom all right so we're just gonna line this up here three inches and then we're gonna line it up here about three inches there all right I'm gonna not make it too complex as, as far as that and then what we're gonna do is just make sure that we're lined up to my marking as far as the middle on either side which is right there and so that's kind of the location of where it's gonna be we'll double check the three inch and then three inches here as far as the bottom. So now I make sure that's even. And then what you're gonna have to do is somehow mark the backboard um, so that you can figure out where the screws are gonna go. And so I'm just gonna use the included screw with the hangboard, and I'm just gonna basically slide this all the way in and make a marking in each of these holes. And then I'm gonna come back with a pen to, to get it um, kind of like marked out further. So I'm just making an indentation in the wood in each of these holes. All right, and then once we have this up on the actual, um, uh, the backboard up, we'll actually drill the hangboard or, or screw the hangboard directly into the backboard. So it's very subtle, but there's markings at each of these locations. I'm gonna mark them with a pen, and then that'll give me an idea of where I need to line everything up when I put it on the actual board. Just because this is going to be a little bit difficult to see once I have it hung up um, and the backboard's up on the wall. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to use the included screws uh, that come with the hangboard to attach this to the backboard once it's installed. On the top row, I'm going to be using those longer screws. And then on the bottom row, I'm going to be using shorter screws. And so basically, you'll just put the longer screws on the top row here. All right. And then on the bottom row, there's going to be two slots for smaller screws, and that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to screw this directly into the backboard once the backboard's screwed into the actual wall um, studs. All right, so just because it's a little bit hard to videotape this while putting this on, on the actual wall, um, what I did was I put three screws already just to hold this up. But what you're going to do at this point is for each of the pilot holes, you're going to drill in your three inch screw uh, for each of these. And so what all you have to do is basically take your drill um, and basically just drill drill these into the actual wall studs. And so here is one of them just for an example. There. That's so that's basically one stud here has all three screws already the baseboard of the backboard is very sturdy You could tell this is very like flush with the wall and it's not gonna fall out at all But I'm gonna do this for all the other pilot hole locations And then what we'll do is we'll actually inst actually install the hangboard onto the walls Okay, so all the screws are in at this point So it was very obvious that these all included studs um, For some reason the one over here you might not be able to see it on the camera um, um, actually didn't hit the stud, so these screws aren't really providing much value, but I'm gonna leave them because they're in the drywall already. Um, but they did not hit the actual stud. Um, but with these other nine, it should have no issues as far as supporting the weight um, with this as a backboard for the hangboard. So now what we'll do is we'll actually install the hangboard onto the back. All right, so before we install the actual hangboard on here, I did mark off where the holes are gonna be, and I used a small drill bit to do a pile 
eyelet hole into each of these. Uh, the main benefit of doing this is you'll know exactly where the hole is. So when you put the screw onto the hangboard, you can align it directly to where you need to on the backboard. Um, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna insert a couple of the screws on. So this is up there and I'll show you how to do the rest. Right. So at this point, I lined up the hangboard based on how high I wanted it from the bottom and made sure that I was in the middle. Then I lined up the bottom two screws to where I pre-marked or pre-drilled the holes in the backboard and I placed those two screws. And so now it's already held up and it's aligned. Now all we have to do is put the top screws in. Um, so these align directly with the holes that I had. And very similarly, all you have to do is just basically screw these in. One thing I did find is that the power screw or power drill does skip a lot. So I had to use a hand drill for the last part. So what I do is I start off with the power drill until it starts skipping like that. And then what I'm doing is I'm switching to just basically a regular hand um, screwdriver and screwing it in all the way till it's flush. And so basically that's all you have to do for each of these screws. Um, the nice thing about this hangboard is where the screws are located, the screw is actually inset a little bit. So even if you reach in this area, you're not gonna hit the screw, it's not gonna affect your grip, but you do have to make sure that the screws are flush. So I'll finish this up for the last three and then we'll test this out. All right, so this is what the end product looks like um, when you're actually done. And so as you can tell, you've got the backboard, you've got the screws into the different studs holding it in place. And then you actually have the hangboard um, with the separate screws, one, two, three, four, as well as the two bottom ones. Um, we'll just test this out, see whether it supports my weight. It's the moment of truth. If this doesn't work, then just don't listen to all the instructions, but we'll try it out. I've never done this before, so it'll be interesting. Um, so basically I'll just hold here. And so as you can tell, it's very sturdy. It's not moving at all. You can definitely hang from this. You can definitely pull up. Um, as you can tell, I'm reaching like the top so this is probably the limit of what I could do as far as a pull up in my apartment anyways. Um, but as compared to having like a doorway uh, frame, um, I'm barely touching the ground right now. Um, so I'm fully extended on my tippy toes. So this gives me the full length of as far as what I could do in my apartment as far as hangboard pull ups or anything like that. Um, but it seems like I'm very happy with this. Uh, because it does serve as a pull-up bar very, very easily. And then I'll definitely have to try the different grips. Um, I've never done it before as far as uh, like rock climbing or anything, but they will hold, um, but they are very difficult. And so it's something for a first time trainer like me. Um, it's something to try out and, and work. But as far as a pull-up bar, this is definitely probably the best option for apartment for like what I live in. <laughs> And so I'm very happy with this. If you have questions, comments, as far as the installation, um, the board itself, anything like that, just post them below, but I'll be happy to answer them. And there's links in the description below for where you can find it on Amazon.